Where my bad bitches at? I'm pretty than a motherfucker, hoes be looking okay yeah. She think that she fucking with me, is this bitch okay? He <laughs> said he ain't fucking around, I look at him like okay I used to be down bad, but now a bitch okay I'm pretty than a motherfucker, hoes be looking okay She think that she fucking with me Hey JC Squad, we back with another banger, y'all. Today we got a uh, Lotto Big Mama. Ten hours ago, twenty five on trending. Um, I don't know. I like this little cute little one too. What you going for my birthday? It's been going viral on TikTok. They've been doing a lot of sounds. Um, I noticed they've been, they've been comparing the song to Flo Millie. Flo Millie never want to lose me. So I don't know, like if if uh, Lotto got inspired by that song and then tried to make her own, incorporate her own little 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 boy song or whatever you want to call it but um from the snippet it looked really good um y'all was saying positive things some people were saying that they hated her second verse but loved the first one so we just gonna get into it um lately i don't know i've been a lot of been kind of mid lately no shade y'all don't don't give be honest y'all not too much y'all because y'all ate me up not too much y'all i'm just saying that's that's how i feel if, if, if she been mid she been mid okay <laughs> Okay. You make it hard to talk about you uh, Like what I see, so I'm working my move You don't give me butterflies You the one for the mother guys At the start, I told a couple lies But after that, that's why I swear Heavy on that, you give me uh, butterflies Fuck the mother guys, okay? <laughs> Heavy on that Try to real about my past niggas And I hope you never think it otherwise Sometimes my mind takes me places And I wonder why Why the fuck you got two phones, nigga What you doing on that other line? Shit better be some money talk Or some beef talk or I'm glad my man don't got two phones Cause heavy on the what the fuck you doing on the other line <laughs> I said I don't got two phones <laughs> I don't play about a side bitch And you heard me say it about a hundred times Let me try and keep it sexy for you We can talk about that another time Lay your ass in the worst way Let you hit it on the first day What you gonna do for big mama for real? What do I get for my birthday? 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 You gotta put in some work today Can you please do the most for me? Cause I'm strong Can you give me some good dick till I come? Can you make me nut again? Oh, no, we up here man. Oh, oh, this is a little freaky song you gotta play. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This is a little oh, a freaky song. Hold on. Press it, play. Uh, can I please get a pink lot with a drum? If you can go another round, then we ain't done. Happy on that. See the sun drinking out the bottle till the shit is done. I'm some Andre 3K shit, man. Where the fuck are my pennies at? Cause I ain't wearing none. I ain't wearing none. I ain't wearing none. I ain't wearing none. celebrities fuck with Natalie Nunn like even Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, Big Lotto, Megan Thee Stallion like I love that uh, I really do respect Natalie though cause one thing I can't, I can't she is really a business woman I'm not gonna lie like that's really good how she be locked in with these celebrities and they really be tuned into the show and watching baddies like your favorite celebrity be watching the baddies for sure all the I do love that for Natalie though she's a very smart marketing person and a business woman I respect her shouts out to Natalie and the baddies some of the baddies some of the baddies. Yeah. When he call me big mama, yeah, they get the coochie with. I better stick to TikTok and mean that without discipline. I was a virgin before I met you, baby. I don't have an ex. But I told you, bitches, I pull up in 20 Cadillacs. Yeah, money long, she the thong. Lotto, stop this and ice spice, She said girl. what she said. Talk about you pull up. And she said, bitch, think you the shit? You not even the fire, ho. <laughs> and then uh, Lotto so messy, she gonna post it. She gonna buy a motherfucking birthday cake talk about, I think I am the shit. Like, y'all yeah, so motherfucking petty, though. I think it's really just a misunderstanding. I think y'all let the fans make y'all too beef. Y'all never had no problems with each other before, so I'm so confused on why y'all letting y'all, letting y'all, uh, letting these fans talk y'all into beefing with That's bitches that y'all don't even know. That was ice spice. Um, Alright, Spice has talking about this bitch had me in the back of her weak ass snippet. But like, it's just play a role with the fans though. Like the fans doing stuff too. And I feel like a lot of you being a bigger person, you let your fans feel you want to say something back too. Cause you could have just been like, no, it was not about you. Da, da, da. Let's not let the fans make us do this. But you know, I mean, it's 2024. Bitch is not trying to be friends and kindle with each other. So they're just going to go back and forth to get clout and see who can do do big. But they both doing good in their own lanes though. No shade. Cause I'm not going to like, Ice Spice definitely does make 
Lotto, of course, is the better rapper, but Ice Spice puts out better hits, better bops. Like, each bop she put out is a bop. Like, no shade. But, of course, Lotto is the better rapper than her. Niggas tell Georgia don't share, niggas share clothes. I don't know what y'all be on. Y'all go for shit, I wouldn't. I'm a 300 a bookie. Bitch, I don't play for that. Y'all go for shit, I wouldn't. I hate that for y'all. Y'all bitches be going out real sad. Talk on it, bitch. Tell Georgia don't share, niggas share clothes. I don't know what y'all be on. Y'all go for shit, I wouldn't. I'm a 300 a bookie. Bitch, I don't play for the next, but I'm gonna shoot shit up. I put on the Every time I cook, cook, he know I put my foot in. Fully your bitch get with a boss. She can't give you number pussy. Mm. Pretty boy can't take me home. Lotto want an Al Capone. T-shirt with no panties on. Fuck him to my favorite song. Yeah. 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 Bitch, I'm big, mama. Big mama. Big mama. I give it like, it's giving like, it's giving like, giving like a 7.58. Um, well, for one, you got the taxi song, um, the Big Mama song. Um, it's gonna grow me a little bit. I wasn't feeling that at first. I don't like the Big Mama hook. Um, her verse was definitely, um, her verses was definitely, she definitely ate the verses down. No shit, I don't know what y'all was talking about. Y'all was saying that she was losing y'all with the uh, verses. But yeah, I definitely give it a 7.5 uh, 7 out of 8. 7.5 to 8 out of 10. I give that a 9 out of 10. I really like that song. And I think that when she did that little thing, I think that was cool. I think she was trying to show, you know, she could make like some more like, like you say, like sexy music, but then still rap on some hood shit. So she shows up on that song. I like both versions, to be honest. <laughs> but like, Jesus walking on water, I got ice boiling though. Like, just like, you know, like metaphors. She don't yeah. really got like. Like, come and go. Thing. Nothing that make you like stop and think about it. Exactly. Like how Megan and the Queen do. You would think, like, I don't fuck with horses since Christopher Reeves. Like, that's just something that you di think and digest. Like, oh, damn, who the fuck? Like, you know? Yeah, like, so you I take your time and pause and think about it. So I think Kamado just needs to work on that. I she got the sex appeal. She got like the, she can make like that music, that that like sexy music. If she she can keep on making that type of music, I think that's good in her. I think mm -hmm. she's good with that. But she just needs to work on her pen. Uh, I wouldn't say for sure, but you, a lot of might you know become better. A lot of might be in the top three soon. <laughs> right now, I think she's like definitely soon because Cardi B, you finna be up out of there. I think I think she's. I think she's like fifth right now. I would say it's it's Nikki, then Meg, then Cardi B, then I would, I would say JT Doja. is above her though. I, I wouldn't would put Doja Cat above her actually. I would say, and I would not say that JT is above Cardi B. No, not Cardi B. I said JT above uh, Lotto. Lotto. Yeah, for sure. It goes Nikki, then Meg. It goes Nikki, then Megan, then Doja Cat, then Cardi B, then. Did I say JT already? Uh, yeah, you did say JT. But I feel like sometimes we gotta separate fame from rapping because rapping, Ooh. JT raps better than Cardi B. But fame-wise, Cardi B gonna overlook JT because Cardi B has a lot of fucking fame and she not came from loving hip-hop and though, stuff like that. It's not about fame, it's about hits, though. She got hits. Yeah, she do got some hits. JT ain't got hits like that. JT definitely don't got no hits like Cardi like Bodak Yellow. She do got a lot of hits, not a lot of hits. She do got she got some hits though from City a, Girls uh together. Right, they but, do got hits. But it's a difference between hits and like mega hits though. Bodak Yellow was on the radio every day and all the Act Up was on the radio every day too. And they played that out. And so the they definitely do got hits. In the commercials though. Well, Jay, you gotta think the City Girls was never commercialized like that. They were never like that. Uh um and plus they're in a rap duo, so I think it's kinda different to compare um how are they both rappers, they all rapping. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, they're not, they're not really, they weren't really and commercialized then, like that from their label. But then she came from, and she came from loving hip hop too, acting real ghetto. Yeah. Well, not ghetto though. She wasn't ghetto love hip hop. I think that Jay loved her from being like a, a per, stripper, uh, personality though, or like being funny on IG and being real to herself. I think that's really more what they gravitate towards her for. But I don't know. When we talk about Cardi B, we do have to mention her hits though. Cause yeah. We ain't going, we ain't going oh yeah, no, that. for sure. She definitely got hits. I never said she did. 
but a better artist though, I don't know. I still Cardi B still in there. Oh yeah, she's still in there, but let's drop some music though, babes, because you're definitely gonna be kicked out of the conversation. It's definitely gonna be top two between Megan and uh, Nikki, for sure. Oh yeah, that's it, JC Squad. Like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. We on the road to 5K subs. I'm gonna drop the IG right here. Um, I said what I said. Don't get in my comments talking shit, because I do not give up. Because at the end of the day, like I said, I like Lotto's music, and I like, um, yeah, I like Lotto's music, but every, every song, you're not gonna like every, that's like, I like Nicki, I like Nicki Minaj, that's the queen, but I'm not, that dude, that doesn't mean I'm gonna like every song by her, no, which, which, you don't, y'all don't even like every song by y'all fans, so what you talking about, you're not gonna like every song, but, um, yeah, y'all like, comment, subscribe, you're gonna roll the 5k subs, I appreciate y'all, we got some more bangers in the vault, bangers in the cut, bangers in the cut, um, Lotto, you did your big one with the birthday song. I really do look like that, like that one. Like uh, the other one has to grow me just as habit. And yeah, girl, just to work a little bit more on your pen, babe. Just keep pushing that pen. Because what the queen said, you pushing your pen and you pushing your luck. And you pushing your luck right now, babe. So just keep pushing that pen a little bit more, babe. Just a tad bit more, Lotto. Um, and um, I don't want to say Lotto. I don't want. I don't want to say that Lotto's cocky because you're supposed to feel like you that bitch. But um. I don't know. I think your fans just want to see something different from you. Like we didn't see all the sex appeal shit. We know you got a good body. We know you got nice titties. We know you. We know you got all that. But it's like I think your fans just want to see. I don't know what. I don't know. Like I don't know if they don't get like an emotional connection with you or like what it is. I don't know. It's just something. Something that you got to work on. I don't know what it is. Cause like I don't know. Cause every time we, every time like we really see you for real, it's like you like no shade, but it's like you always beefing with somebody like that. I don't. I don't think your fans see like I've never seen you like um. I don't know. It's like I see you in a good light, but it's like I don't know. It's like every time we look up, you just get some drama. So it's like I don't know. Like I don't know. But yeah. So next time, Jesse Squad. Bye. Bye.